Joining me right now is special guest, the lawyer for Melissa Jackson, who has been dubbed Trash Bin Baby Mom. Scott Rosenblum, joining me out of St. Louis. Uh, Mr. Rosenblum, you have an excellent reputation as a trial lawyer. Why were charges dropped against your client, Melissa Jackson? Well, Nancy, that's always a better question to ask for the prosecution. It's my belief that the prosecution is obviously under a duty to continually review its case, and if it determines it cannot make a case beyond a reasonable doubt, then um, it's, in my opinion, uh, the, the appropriate thing to do is to dismiss the case or drop the charge. I assume that you are going to address the fact that the ex-boyfriend claimed he did it? Well, uh, I, I listened to you a little bit, and what you said was not a, not 100% accurate. Oh, good. The uh, way, clarify. The way it developed in, in the course of discovery in a deposition, a patrol officer came upon this ex-boyfriend who did sleep in a car um, not owned by him on a, re on a somewhat regular basis. At the time that he was questioned that morning, the morning that Markel was found, apparently he was, or indicated he had been uh, rather intoxicated both by alcohol and some other substances and according to the police officer made a spontaneous statement that the mom wanted me to do this or something okay. like that um, it wasn't you know it wasn't all that clear but taken in the context of some of the other evidence and lack of evidence against Melissa I think that certainly um, this gentleman or this person made a, a, a better suspect in our view than Melissa and certainly Okay, I understand, Mr. Rosenblum. I understand, Mr. Rosenblum. Um, to you, uh, Matt Zarell, so you've got the mom who made incriminating statements, and you've got the boyfriend who says, okay, I did it, and she was there. She made me do it. Who's being held responsible for the child's death tonight, since they're both basically pointing the finger at each other? Anybody? Well, n nobody. Nobody is being held responsible. Is that what I'm hearing? Correct. Okay, uh, Matt, I'm sure we contacted the prosecutor's office. Do they have any plans of indicting the two of them together? Or is it just okay to beat and strangle a baby and leave him on top of cardboard boxes? The DA's office, Nancy, says they're still investigating the case. They will not give details on whether they plan to pursue charges against the ex-boyfriend or where they go from here. You know what? While they're deciding, I'm going to stay on the story. The fact that they let her slip through their fingers is not enough. I want justice. Whether she did it or the boyfriend did it, somebody knows the answer. And I want that somebody behind bars.